1-800-227-2111. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of Penal Code Section 187. Hello, everyone. I'm Lana Zak. And I'm Errol Barnett. We begin with breaking news. You saw the infamous moment there. Buffalo Bills Hall of Fame running back O.J. Simpson, who was acquitted of the 94 slayings of his ex-wife and her friend, has died from cancer at the age of 76. And he is considered by some to be the greatest running back who ever lived. Simpson was the first man to ever rush for more than 2,000 yards in one season, and he did it in just 14 games. Of course, he's largely remembered for that high-profile moment we just showed you, a murder trial for the killings of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ron Goldman. He was found liable for the killings in a civil suit, though, brought by the victims' families. We want to bring in now Zoe Turr. She's a news documentary filmmaker with News Media Films. She was piloting that helicopter that actually broadcasts the O.J. Simpson police chase in Los Angeles in 1994, capturing all of our attention uh, Zoe, discuss what it was like actually being the pilot in the air broadcasting what the entire country tuned into, that low-speed chase. It was surreal, to say the least. It felt like somebody had punched me, in, you know, in the chest. Here was O.J. Simpson, this television star, this movie star, a man that golfed with presidents running from the police like, you know, the other two, 300 pursuits I've covered. It was it was shocking. And to be able to find him, of course, we're in the news business and we wanted to find him. Uh, I was just shocked that we did. Zoe, how did you find him? I mean, Los Angeles is massive. The number of vehicles on the road on any given day, let alone the early 90s, is in the tens of thousands. Take us inside uh, the helicopter. How did you capture the moment? Well, it started outside the helicopter at Parker 